Jimmy, your thoughts on that one? Listen, I thought we kind of compared to last week. I thought we kind of huffed and puffed, but we still had a few, few chances today. Uh, and as I say, listen, I think still and I'll be enough. A good team. Let's not be kidding. They're sitting second in the league. Uh, they win. They win their game in hand over the Martin. Uh, it puts my point behind them, and everybody's talking about how good a season the Martin's been having. So it just shows you. Listen, we came here and I thought we competed because the last time we came here and we didn't really compete much at all. I thought we were always in the game. They're going to get up the home team. They're going to try and score. But I thought we could have nullified them to a, to a certain point. I thought we defended well. I thought George again done really really well uh, and. Jinky just at the end, kind of second half, where he hits a cross barn, it just falls, he's offside, and then, so listen, we can often puff, but I just, I just thought, overall, we possibly could have deserved from, something from the game, but I just I think, uh, we're still in that, and we're a decent team, to be honest with you. Do you feel a wee bit harsh, the three minutes into the second half, after playing a good first half, suddenly we find ourselves behind, that all to do? Of course, I, and it's... I spoke to them as well about it, do you know what I mean? Like, when the second half runs from, he maybe runs about 40 or 50 yards, and unopposed, and nobody actually puts a wee bit of pressure on him to go, right, well, can maybe force some wide or whatever, but just let him run and run and run, and then they find themselves in the net. It was a looking very good finish uh, for Ross Davidson, but as I say, you, you trace it back, and you can always trace goals back regardless, but I think it was basically, it was evident that, he picked up the ball for left set half, drove, 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 played a pass for Ricochet, and then it goes back out to Davidson if, if he scores a good goal. But as I say, it was it was so honestly, there's no much in it in this league, and I know I keep saying that, but there isn't. Uh, and we just need to concentrate for now to the end of the season and try and win as many games as we can. Uh, and as I say, today was obviously a difficult one, but I thought there wasn't there wasn't much in it both teams. You look at the league table after tonight, and you know, you know the headline is we're eighth, but we're eighth and we're four points off third. It's just ridiculously tight. Really. That's that's a big thing for me. Like you can look at the uh, league tables and it stares you right in the face. You know what I mean? So you're no you're no that you're not that far away. Uh, and as I say, we ju we just need to concentrate on ourselves to be honest with you, and we just need to go try and win as many games from now to the end of the season. I know it's it's going to be difficult, but at the end of the day, it's it's we're more than capable of doing it because we've already bet Stirling and I haven't bet Dumbarton so we'll bet teams at the top end of the league and we're capable of going and putting on a good performance so uh, hopefully going away to four for next week same again it'll be a tough game uh, but if we can go there and put on a performance and try and go and get a, a three points uh, it'll stand as a good stead but as I say it'll be, it'll be a tough venue to go as well I know stats are there but we've got an absolutely horrible record at four for so uh, with bad timing, a game at Station Park comes up, but you know we've seen four for this season. Not that's right, aye. Of course, we've, as I say, we've, we've been there, done it, uh, and as I say, obviously the home record was obviously abysmal up until last week. So we went and done that. So why can we not go to four for and go and get three points? Because we need to go try and win games uh, from now to the end of the season. Because it's big for the club uh, and big for us and big for the boys in there to go and just get that confidence flowing again uh, and try and kind of. Go and pick, can I start picking up performances. But in uh, Finn <coughs> Ekropont through the week, um, it's obviously a familiar name from like it was Albion Rovers in our league a couple of years ago. He's mm. obviously been with uh, United. So what do you think? We saw him this afternoon. What do you think Finn will bring to the team? Listen, I think he's got good energy. Uh, he's a good left foot, uh, and as I say, he managed to get him in through the week. Uh, and last night could be a good signing for us. And obviously, the same again. Would like to thank him for allowing him to come in loan uh, to the remainder of the season and as I say I think he'll give you that kind of calmness and he's aggressive uh, when he needs to be uh, he can go and win tackles and get forward so listen he is, he's, he's, a, he's a good left back so it's one that we're obviously kind of we've been looking at for the start of the season to try and get him in uh, and obviously United thought the time was right for him to go out and kind of try and progress his career and give him game time here so hopefully if he keeps turning in performances then he'll be in the team line more than he's, than he's not so but as I say we just need to go and concentrate and try and get three points and the hard work starts off tonight we'll go away and watch fourth and things like that do what we need to do analyse the game from today uh, where we could go where we've done wrong and we've done good so there's always there's always things to take from a, a result and a, a poor performance and Scott Dunn's back he's back from his loan spell at the Shire and I think we're right in seeing Matty Grant warming up this afternoon so how are I, things I shaping think, up with uh, injury guys Dunny comes back uh, from the loan spell uh, he's been unwell for the last three or four weeks so he's not featured much 
uh, and then you'll obviously get Matty Grant, hopefully he was in a boot there for a few weeks, so he, was, he started the kind of warm-up today. Uh, I don't think he'll be ready for next week, but as I say, hopefully we've got him available because he, he gives you a different option, because uh, obviously you're looking at your the bench and things like that as well, the way when you've got Woodsy and Dino and, and things like that out, and it kind of, in the attacking sense, you're kind of right. low in numbers, but as I say, like, we, we just need to keep trying, try to get the bodies in, so hopefully, maybe in the next kind of day or two, we've, we've had people in training and things like that as well, so we can add to the squad, but we'll just wait and see what happens. Jamie, thanks very much. Thanks very Cheers. much. Thanks. Thanks.